What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making well done steak. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm actually gonna make a steak that is well done. I have made it for other people, but I'm gonna see if I can make it juicy. I don't know. I, I don't think it can be done, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best. This goes against everything I was ever taught about steak. It's always been medium rare, medium rare, medium rare, but today we're gonna try to do it well done and juicy. And the bottom line is there's a lot of people that like it well done, so why not, you know, show people how to make it juicy as well. So we're gonna do our best. So we'll get right to the star of the show. Um, I bought this ribeye here from Publix. Uh, the price went up a little bit, up to $15.99 a pound. It was $13.99 a pound a couple weeks ago. Um, but you wanna get a good ribeye with good marbling. This one's okay, it's not that bad. Uh, it's not the best in the world, but I think it'll work for what we're doing today. The more fat, the more juicy it's gonna be. So you definitely wanna try to get something like that. So we're gonna get right into the preparation of the steak. Let's go. All right, so this is what we're working with here. This ribeye is a little bit thicker than the last one that I bought. And I also, I forgot, this is no bone, it's boneless. So boneless is typically more expensive anyway, because um, you're not paying for that weight of the bone, but it actually looks pretty good. So I would say it's probably about an inch to an inch and a half thick, somewhere around there. We're just gonna use salt, pepper, garlic, I put this uh, combination together and uh, it's working great so far. So I just wanna give it a nice seasoning, nice dusting on all sides. You wanna make sure you cover it nice and evenly as best you can. This is a thick steak, so you can't really over season this. I mean, I guess you could, but probably won't. So then what you can also do is put down some around the cutting board like so it's a trick a lot of guys use in girls girls and guys guys and girls and just kind of roll it around and that gets that seasoning all around the outsides as well you want to make sure it's really good and seasoned and looking good which this is this is looking real good so here you go another quick close-up of the steak and that's it so what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, we are going to change up our strategy for this one. The last steak I cooked, I was talking about medium rare. We did, uh, I believe it was like 450 degrees, two minutes each side for eight minutes total until it was done. So this one, we're gonna change it up because my mom actually called me after that video and said, what about us? We like it well done. <laughs> Isn't it gonna be completely burnt on the outside? And I said, no, nah, you'll be fine. Just turn it down a little bit. We're gonna do almost a reverse here. We're gonna turn it down to low, as low as we can get this. And I'm just using the middle burner here. And we're gonna cook this for a good 10 to 15 minutes till we get the internal temperature up to about 140 degrees. Then we're gonna crank it up for the last 10 minutes or so, turning quickly until the internal temperature is about 155, 156, somewhere around that range. And hopefully we will have a juicy steak. All right, we're gonna put down a little bit of canola oil here. So we're at about 200 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down. So this is gonna take a little while. So I'll fast forward as I go through and uh, we're just gonna to try to get the inside done. Um, you know, give it kind of a head start before we really put the sear on it. Let me tell you, watching this cook on low is like watching paint dry. <laughs> So we're at about 300, which is what I would consider low for sure. Okay, so we're five minutes in. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. That's pretty much what I expected. Very boring gray. <laughs> That's fine. We don't want it super dark right now anyway. So nice little head start on that side. Let's give it another five minutes on the other side. We'll 
do the outsides, uh, uh, flip it around vertically and roll it around a little bit and, uh, and then we'll crank it up. All right, so we're 10 minutes in. Let's check the temperature. Yeah, we still got a long way to go. It's not even 100 degrees. So let's go ahead and uh, get some of the sides cooked. You can see you got some crust on that side, which is nice. I love these little spatulas, they're like a second pair of hands. So it seems like the outside of the steak is temping up a little higher than the inside. So right in the middle, we're a little bit lower. Uh, around 120, but some of the outside is already up to 140. But we really want to make sure the inside is completely done, no pink. That's our goal. Um, I know, it sounds crazy, but that's our goal. <laughs> but right now we are 15 minutes in. Um, I think about two more minutes and we'll have the right temperature to be able to really crank it up and get it to where we need to be and get that perfect sear. All right, so actually it didn't even take that long. We are already at 140. Let's go ahead and crank it up. So now you definitely want to Turn it more often, like every, I don't know, minute and a half or so, so we can get a nice even brown crust all the way around. Oh yeah. All right, now we're, now we're talking. I see some crust there. All right, so I just checked the middle grate. We're getting at like 480, so I turned it down a little bit because, wow, this Blackstone heated up quick. Uh, you want to be around 450, where you want to be. Another flip. Oh my goodness, that is looking good. See, the outside is already looking done, but the inside it's got a little bit more work to do right in this area. But real, we're close. We are very close. We are coming in on 20 minutes, literally right now. And the middle is at about 150. So I want to give this, I do not want any pink. Even if this is overcooked, I don't care. I want the middle to be zero pink. So let's flip it again. Okay, <laughs> the crust on this is ridiculous. It is looking really good. We're still not there though. We are still not there. It's funny, it's like right here. I think it's just one little spot right there in the middle, but the rest of them are, oh. I think it's time to pull it, okay. I'm at the 160 mark on the, most of the steak. We're gonna go ahead and pull it. Hoo-wee! <laughs> All right, so we are ready because it took me a good 20 minutes to cook this thing. I've let it rest for about five minutes. I can see juices coming out of there. 
they're not red, which is good. Uh, not for me, but it's good for somebody who wants it well done, right? So uh, I am looking forward to cutting into it. I really hope there's no, no pink at all. I don't know if there's gonna be or not. I will be disappointed because that means I'm gonna have to really char the next one. But anyway, we're gonna dig into this right now. So I'm just gonna cut this basically right down the middle. I mean, it is as juicy as I have seen. Oh, look at that. I don't know. No, there is no pink. <laughs> there is zero pink on that steak, okay? So I'm gonna give you a close up real quick. And you can see, there's no pink. It is definitely a, there may be a little mauve but there's no pink, okay? So it's looking good. Uh, it looks super juicy. Let me cut into, uh, I guess I'll start with the end here. I mean, that's a good piece right there. You can see up close, it looks good. A lot of fat on there, which is great. Mm. Okay, that was super, super juicy, but that was mainly fat. Let me get into just a piece of the middle part, which obviously is not gonna be as juicy or as tender. As you can see, there is no pink, right? Zero pink, this is the true test right here. Here we go. Cheers. Okay, <laughs> not for me. I am a medium rare guy and that was just too dry. It's still juicy, but it is not as juicy as a medium rare, not even close. The outside part is the spinalis is for sure, but that middle piece right there, mm -mm. sorry. Now, if you want a steak though, and you like it medium, I'm sorry, if you like it well, cook it like this. This is very good. It's very tasty and it's definitely, um, if I could imagine if you like well done, this is how you want to cook it. So <laughs> with that being said, the answer to the question is, yes, you can cook a juicy, well done steak. And if you like well done, this is the way to do it. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.